Mastering Formal Tone in English Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an important aspect of the English language that can enhance your communication skills, especially in professional settings. We're going to explore what a formal tone means and how you can use it effectively. Whether you're writing an email, giving a presentation, or attending an interview, mastering a formal tone can make a great impression. The term, a formal tone, refers to a style of communication that is polite, measured, and slightly more impersonal compared to casual or colloquial speech. It's characterized by complete sentences, precise word choice, and a focus on clarity and respect. Think of it as the difference between the way you would speak to a close friend and how you would address a judge in a courtroom. In this section, we'll break down the key elements that contribute to a formal tone. These include choice of vocabulary, opt for words that are specific and accurate. Avoid slang, idioms, and contractions. Sentence structure, use complete sentences and consider complex sentence structures that show sophistication in your language. Politeness and respect. Phrases like, please, and thank you, go a long way. Also, use titles and last names unless invited to do otherwise. Passive voice. Sometimes, using the passive voice can make your sentences sound more formal, although it's not always necessary. A formal tone isn't always required, but there are specific situations where it's expected. Professional correspondence. When you're writing emails, letters, or memos in the workplace. Academic writing. Essays, research papers, and reports usually require a formal tone. Public speaking. When you're giving a speech or presentation, especially in a professional context. Job interviews. Communicating in a formal tone can show respect and professionalism. Practicing is key to getting comfortable with a formal tone. Here are some tips. Read formally written content. This can include academic journals, professional blogs, or formal letters. Write and revise. Take the time to write out your thoughts and then revise them with a formal tone in mind. Seek feedback. Don't hesitate to ask teachers, mentors, or colleagues for their input on your use of formal tone. I hope this video has helped clarify what a formal tone is and how you can incorporate it into your English communication. Remember, the goal is not to sound stiff or robotic, but to communicate with clarity, respect, and professionalism. Keep practicing, and you'll find that a formal tone becomes second nature. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.